Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Queen Sunbeam Tarot. I hope all is well with you and your beautiful family. So today as you can see by that title we'll be diving into what fantasy of yours will come true and when. We'll also be getting you some advice in regards to how you can make this fantasy a reality okay. So once you are calm, relaxed, and ready to go then set your eyes upon these options that you have to choose from you have option number one option number two and option number three once you know which one is calling out to you then go ahead and hit that description box and check out the timestamp for whichever one you feel the most drawn to and then i will see you at your pile selection if anything i say today resonates for you then please give me a big fat like comment and subscribe to join the sunstar family and then also hit that description box one more time and check out my instagram where i do more pick a cards there i appreciate you so much for watching now let's begin the video right, hello option number one let's go ahead and get into it for what fantasy of yours will come true now if you chose this card this will be your reading so let's go ahead and see what fantasy is coming true for you we have here security to feel more secure deepen your connection with nature root chakra okay so you guys are going to be feeling super 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 mega secure okay you're you might be securing your finances to where it's like you don't have to worry about money i feel like you might um fantasize about um you know like you could be fantasy you could be fantasizing about you know having a more grounded emotional balanced emotionally balanced state like you know what i'm saying having a more, a more grounded nature okay it's something that you could fantasize about but i feel like you could fantasize about just being and feeling secure to where you don't have to worry okay but i feel like let's go ahead and see what else we have with the tarot muse of emotions which is the king of cups and i feel like this is exactly what you're trying to embody or what you want to embody or what you fantasize about embodying you know what i'm saying like this this um this this way of being to where you don't care you don't well you don't um get rocky like you don't get shook you don't get in a position to where it's like you have so many worries and fears to where you get caught up in your head like that's something that you want to release we have here a page of materials so again this could be about finances as well financial security the magician and nine of voices so nine of swords so yeah you do have a lot of worries and fears okay that is something that you've dealt with a lot of like worrying fears insomnia and like just being very anxious having a lot of anxiety and i feel like you know I'm, I'm definitely someone that has dealt with that before and deals with that especially being an empath so it's important for you guys to get that security feel secure feel that emotionally balanced state like you want to be balanced you want to feel secure you want to feel like you're safe it's definitely important for you to feel like you're safe especially if you're very anxious especially if you deal with insomnia and stuff like that so i definitely feel here that this is something that um you're actually going to be able to achieve okay this this fantasy of yours of being emotionally stable and secure and being financially stable and secure that's something that you're definitely going to be able to have i feel like with the magician here though you definitely have a lot of things that you want to manifest a lot of things that you may want um for some of you guys but i feel like with the magician it's like you you definitely have all of the skills and tools you already need to make this happen for yourself okay you just have to believe it and put your your best efforts towards it okay so let's see what else we have here for what fantasy of yours will come true. Change wind. Okay. Beginnings east. So some of you guys could want to move, change homes and move. Okay, and move somewhere east. 
some of you guys just want changes a new beginning to happen for you in your life i feel like that's something that some of you guys really want and desire and i feel like that's something you guys fantasize about or making changes to your home you know what i'm saying just to get that new energy in is something that you guys could fantasize about but i feel like if that is that's definitely something that you're going to be able to um manifest that's something that you that will actually come true for you but let's see what else we have here travel yes yeah, some of you guys could be wanting to travel for sure and just have a new beginning for yourself some of you guys just want to move somewhere new where nobody knows you <laughs> and that's beautiful because i feel like that's a fantasy if that's a fantasy that you have that's definitely coming true for you with the travel beginnings ease and change for sure passion Ooh, passion all right so with passion coming out here this is like with that magician card it's like whatever you desire whatever you desire to manifest whatever you you know enjoy whatever you love doing okay whatever lights you up or whatever whatever you want that lights you up i feel like that's something that you're going to be able to have because i do feel like you guys are going to be getting into this place where you experience a lot of luxury a lot of a lot of the things that you want you know what i'm saying um yeah i definitely feel like you're beginning into that place okay but you have to definitely allow yourself in and you got to release those worries and fears because i feel like once you release those worries and fears that that hold back your manifestation because i feel like you may be attached to the results when you're trying to manifest or you just may be so anxious about the outcome once you release all of those negative emotions and just let it go and just let whatever happens happen then i feel like you're going to be traveling you're going to be pursuing your passions and just living a better life so what else we have here? Home. So yeah, y'all definitely want that security, whether that be financially or whether that be having a new home, whether that be emotional security, like having a partner that really makes you feel safe and secure as well, or just being safe and secure within yourself. I feel like that's something that you guys want that you'll actually be able to manifest, okay? And especially if this is, if anything I've said here today is something that you do fantasize about or you do wish, then I feel like this is definitely coming true for you because it's coming up in the cards for a reason, okay? So let's go ahead and see what the advice is for you in regards on how you can make this a reality for yourself. We have here bravery. So you have to be willing to step out of your comfort zone in order to make this happen. And I know that's kind of crazy because it's like you want security, you know what I'm saying? And that would, but <laughs> to get there, you definitely have to step out of, out of your comfort zone in regards to some, certain endeavors. Like, let's say in regards to your passions, let's say if you want to travel, you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone and make, you know, make moves to travel. Let's see what else we have here. Community. I feel like you should definitely, you know, especially if you're like nervous and anxious about stepping outside of your comfort zone or or taking the steps to do what you want to do like travel or buy a new home or move i feel like you should definitely lean on your parents your family members people in your community and have a talk with them about how you, how it is you can do that or even just you can talk to um just different people that are familiar with you know um like real estate or familiar with traveling or familiar with one of your passions you could talk to different people about it and that will help you to release some of your fears so that's some of the advice that's coming through for you is to step out of your comfort zone and open up to other people and that way you'll be able to figure out what it is that you can do to help yourself okay so let's see when this will be happening for you when will this fantasy come true for you we have here it's up to you and helpful people so i feel like it's a big push towards you know being open with people because i feel like you'll i feel like once you are open with people about what it is that you want to do and you know what it is that you are trying to do with your passions with your with traveling with moving or whatever the case i feel like and whatever this fantasy is for you you know if you want financial security if you want emotional security whatever the case if you're opening up to people you'll find 
you'll find someone helpful to give you the right information to, to help you to make that move. So it's up to you on whether you wanna open up to anybody in order to help yourself, okay? So, uh, so when it comes to timing, it's really up to you, okay? It's up to you and if you're willing to, you know, be open with people about what it is that you want in order to get the advice that you need, okay? But that's what I have for you, option number one. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big fat like, comment, and subscribe to join the Sunstar family. And then also hit that description box one more time and check out my Instagram where I do more pick a cards there. I appreciate you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Hello, option number two. So if you chose this white, grayish, bluish card, then this will be your reading for what fantasy of yours will come true. So let's go ahead and see what fantasy of yours will come true. We have here, divinity. Recognize the, the divine in the mirror crown chakra so I feel like you guys are going the fantasy of yours I feel like for some of you guys you may want more spiritual abilities um some of you guys could resonate with being psychic some of you guys could resonate with with having spiritual gifts and things of that nature if you do I feel like you're definitely going to be recognizing certain gifts within yourself I feel like you're going to be recognizing um just how wonderful and great you are and I feel like you're going to be finding the confidence within yourself um, in regards to your spiritual gifts and abilities and I feel like you're definitely going to be trusting yourself more and have that more of a trust for your inner intuition and your inner wisdom okay um, but obviously that won't resonate for all of you guys but with this card here divinity I'm definitely feeling for option number two people that what it is that you may fantasize about is having more confidence within yourself having more of a love for yourself having more um respect for your inner wisdom and your inner knowledge and just respect for yourself okay so yeah let's see what else we have here though i'm sure there's much more information that can be provided in regards to what your fantasy is that will come true we'll start with the tarot the moon so very psych. I don't, I don't know why I'm getting so much psychic energy from this moon card. Page of emo. Look, water. Page of emotions. Very intuitive. This pile. And queen of emotions. Very intuitive. That's the queen of cups. I mean, that's very intuitive. Like you could be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. You don't have to be. Or you could have a water trine in your um, birth chart. So a lot of water in your chart you could have. But I feel like for some of you, you guys might fantasize about speaking to your spirit guides and connecting with your spirit guides. And I feel like this is something that you're going to be able to do with this page of emotions. Do you see this little doorway? I feel like you guys are going to be stepping through and being able to communicate with your spirit guides, your angels, your, your ancestors, and things of that nature. Especially if you haven't already. If you already have, then I feel like this thing that you may um, fantasize about is having more spiritual abilities, more gifts, okay? And I feel like this is something that you'll be able to accomplish as well, okay? Um, let me see what else I'm picking up with these three cards. I feel like some of you guys definitely have a lot of fears in regards to your dreams, in regards to the things that you truly want and desire. Um, or a lot of fears in relation to your emotions, like a lot of emotional fears, okay? And I feel like that's something that, that you're wanting to release, okay? And that's something that you may fantasize about releasing, especially if you've been hurt in the past. I definitely feel like you are going to be healing from those energies. And I feel like that's something you may want or that may be a fantasy that you desire, like wanting to heal from past hurts, past pains in order to grow emotionally um, and mature emotionally and love yourself more and have more confidence and step into your own inner power and shine your light okay I feel like that's something that you're definitely going to be doing option number two and let's go ahead and see what else we have here for um, what fantasy of yours will come true music I feel like you guys are so connected like even if you might I don't know if you know this already but like I feel like you guys are so connected like you you may doubt yourself and how connected you are but you're very connected you're very tapped in okay and i feel like through music 
music is a great way for you to release your fears your emotions and i feel like if you do enjoy music and you fantasize about having a music career then you're definitely going to be able to have that a successful music career you're definitely going to be able to have that that's definitely that's something that's coming true for you as it is showing up in the cards okay but i definitely feel like for those that don't fantasize about that this music card is here to tell you that through music your spirit guides and you know your angels definitely communicate through music for you as well all right we have here movement speed so some of you guys want an advancement is what I'm seeing here you guys want an advancement especially if you have a music career or if you have if you're in a spiritual business um, or if you're just in creative into creative arts and creative endeavors then you guys definitely want things to speed up for you you fantasize about things speeding up for you you know you may visualize things changing quickly for you and I feel like I feel like things are going to happen for you um, in regards to what fantasy of yours will, will come true. This this fantasy of wanting things to happen for you, wanting wanting things to advance for you, especially if this is career, creative, um, and, or a business, is definitely going to happen for you. Okay, this is what's coming up in the cards with this movement speed. I'm definitely feeling here that this advancement, this um, change in energy that you want because I feel like things may be stagnant right now and you want things to move forward quickly I feel like it's definitely going to be able to happen for you and you may fantasize about things happening more faster more quicker for you but like I said that's something that's coming through and that's something that will happen for you and I feel like it's going to give you a lot of confidence as well it's, you're going to recognize how amazing and great you already are let's see what else we wow spirit guide we have your spirit guides so like i said some of you guys fantasize about connecting with your spirit guides and talking to your spirit guides and that has come through you're definitely going to be able to do that okay um what else we have grieving did i not say that oh my god <laughs> i did i did i did say that okay i definitely said that somebody was healing from some past hurts and past pains and you wanted to gain i definitely said that someone was healing i definitely felt that energy of you guys healing you're gonna bro with this grieving card bro with this grieving card <laughs> you're gonna be healing from whoever lied to you stole from you cheated on you broke your heart put you in a bad headspace whoever did that you're gonna be healing you know even if you are going through some sort of loss okay you lost someone you really and truly loved you know what whether that be romantically or whether that be a family member you're going to heal from this okay that's something you need to know you're going to heal from this okay i feel like you may in regards to fantasy i feel like you just wonder will you ever heal from this like what will you ever be able to change in regards to this thing that you may have been grieving over and with grieving coming out and this big beautiful butterfly it will change you know you will heal from whatever it is that you've been grieving over you know and i feel like that's something you definitely need to know it will happen for you okay and um let's see what else we have for you empowerment didn't i didn't i say that like i feel like this is what you guys you guys are on this road on this journey towards empowering yourselves towards changing towards you know finding better for yourself okay with this empowerment card coming out for you guys i love it i love it all right yeah but with this empowerment card i feel like you guys are definitely maturing oh, in so many ways on so many levels okay i feel like you guys are maturing okay um changing the way you think changing the way you are and loving um every part of yourself let me just move this and adjust this a little bit okay but yeah you guys are maturing we have the page to the queen so you guys are going to be maturing you guys are going to be feeling more empowered feeling more confident confident especially in yourself in your abilities in your gifts okay whether that whether that be creative whether that be music whether that be um also you you guys are gonna like i said you guys are gonna be healing with the grieving so it's like if it's you wanting to heal from the, a loss that you've had 
you're going to be able to accomplish that if it's you wanting if you having um this creative career or this music career and you wanting it to be successful and you wanting things to speed up it's going to happen for you if you want to connect with your spirit guides and all of this is going to happen for you okay if you want more spiritual abilities it's going to happen for you because it's showing up in the cards and this is something that you may fantasize about okay so let's go ahead and see what the advice is for you on how you can make this fantasy a reality we have here loss And we have here solitude. Okay. So for some of you guys, I'm definitely, oh wait, one more card. <laughs> we have here perspective. Okay, so for some of you guys, I'm definitely getting that you need to channel your pain. Um, especially for those that are grieving and wanting to truly heal and move on from a loss channel your pain whether that be through music whether that be through something creative um, whether that be through something physical just channel your pain and release it okay in a healthy way okay or you can write it in a journal there's plenty of things that you can do to channel your pain and release it so work on doing that and that's going to be something that's going to help you turn this this um fantasy in a reality uh, into a reality okay um that's definitely for those that have this fantasy of just healing letting go of this loss and moving forward for others that really want to connect spiritually spend more time alone and change your perspective about it as well okay change your perspective about it as well be more open to believing in in spirit guides and angels in the the um in this fam into into this fantasy be more open to believing in this fantasy okay um but spend more time alone meditate okay meditate and connect that's your way of connecting meditating or through music or through movement you know what i'm saying but spend more time alone and i feel like you'll be able to get get the answers that you need as well but some of you guys need to change your perspective because some of you guys still have fears in regards to like connecting with your spirit gods and stuff as well but once you change your perspective as well in regards to your confidence in regards to what it is that you can do your gifts and abilities that's when you'll be able to step into this um this fantasy and make it a reality but don't if you guys have lost somebody don't focus on the loss okay don't focus on the loss it's kind of what i'm getting as well let's see what else we have here for you okay so let's go ahead and see when this is going to be happening for you in regards to when this fantasy is going to turn into a reality choose a new direction look for a sign a year from now okay so if seeing a year from now instantly made you feel like that can't be for me you know or you intuitively felt like oh that's just you know that's not it can't be for me then ask your angels ask your spirit guides um ask god for a sign you know what i'm saying a sign in regards to when this fantasy can become a reality okay um and also i feel like you may I feel like you guys may be some of you guys may still be working a job or doing like I feel like some of you guys may not be doing what it is that you fantasize about right now especially if you have like a music career I feel like you some of you guys may just have a regular job and do the music on the side and I feel like you guys will be choosing a new direction meaning that you'll be taking you'll be taking your music more seriously if it's about music you know what I'm saying to where you're doing it full-time and if it's about you having a spiritual business, some of you guys will be choosing to do that full time as well if you're not already. But with the choosing choose a new direction as well, I'm getting that those that are grieving, those are, that are um, going through this loss or with those that have fears that are holding them back. Um, those that don't feel as confident, I feel, feel this choose a new direction, this choose a new perspective as well. 
feel like it's like choose a new perspective but a year from now is what it seems like for when this fantasy is going to be coming true for you guys option number two i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a big fat like comment and subscribe to join the sunstar family and then also hit that description box one more time and check out my instagram where i do more pick a cards there i appreciate you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video Hello, option number three. Let's go ahead and see what fantasy of yours will come true, when, and what advice do you need in order to make this fantasy a reality? But first, let's go ahead and see what this fantasy is. We have here strength. Strength comes from your connection to the root of your being. Okay. So some of you guys need to get grounded. Some of you guys may need to get grounded, but some of you guys really want to feel more strong, feel more empowered, feel more powerful, okay? Some of you guys may feel like you're not free, you know? Some of you guys may feel like you're not free or you're not connected to your freedom in the way that you would like. Some of you guys definitely may feel like you know you don't have enough strength to make it through whatever it is that you may be going through especially if it's negative if you're not going through anything obviously take it for how it resonates but with the strength yeah you guys definitely want to feel empowered to feel more power and i feel like with strength coming out um you're definitely going to be getting that as it is showing up in the cards okay so yeah, if you wanna feel more empowered, then that's definitely coming forth for you, okay? So let's go see what, let's go ahead and see what else we have here for um, what fantasy of yours will come true with the tarot. Oh, nine of cups, yes. Justice, major arcana, yes. Page of inspiration, page of wands, yes. <laughs> so this is something that you've definitely wished for that's coming through for you. This is something that you you really fantasize about, okay? Often, like this is, this is like, this could be a creative idea, this could be, I feel like this could be, I, I feel this is weird, it's like good luck. <laughs> This is like good luck almost. Like maybe you wish that you, you just had impeccable luck. <laughs> but either way, um, I'm gonna get some clarifiers out here because I want more information because we have here the nine of cups. So it's like definitely something you've wished for. So you know what this is that you fantasize about. Like you know what it is. You wish for it all the time. With the justice card, I'm definitely getting that. It could have to do with legal. It could have to do with the legal affair or something like that. Um, but I feel like with the justice card I'm also getting like freedom like it like I said before I'm picking up on that freedom like it's like you want to be free you want to break look at how she's breaking free in this card shedding the old skin okay and I feel like that's something that you guys wish for freedom you know and maybe it's creative freedom the freedom to create okay it could be about a relationship as well but I'm not feeling that too strongly. But for some of you guys, you could be wanting and wishing and hoping and praying for a relationship. That could be something that you really fantasize about, a very passionate, equal relationship that gives you everything you want and need. But let's see what else we have here. I'm just gonna go ahead with your Oracle cards. We have here, oh, alchemy magic. That actually makes a lot of sense, yeah. <laughs> oh, ignition, fire. Yes, ooh. I, I feel like you, this is why I'm, we got strength here. I was just, okay, so you guys want more energy. <laughs> you guys want more energy. I feel like maybe in regular life, you don't have the energy to make it through through your day, you know what I'm saying? Or something like that some i'm getting i'm picking that up with the fire card okay and the strength it's like you want more energy to create you want more energy to create you want more energy to get to go after what you really want you want more energy to go after what it is that you desire okay and i feel like with the alchemy magic i feel like you got first of all i'm gonna say <laughs> Some of you guys may be trying to manifest more power. Some of you guys fantasize about just having so much power, but it's just like 
you don't realize how much power you do have. You know what I'm saying? It's like something in your environment kind of makes you feel powerless, makes you feel like you don't have power, like you don't have magic, like you can't control your reality. But it's like, so you fantasize about being able to control your reality, about being able to have power over the things that you want and have your wishes come true. But it's like, you know, you do have that power. I just want to say that you do have that power, whether you feel that way or not. You know what I'm saying? And this could have to do with like legal matters to where you're like trapped in a contract and you don't feel free. Um, or just you could feel like trapped in a relationship and you don't feel free. It could be different for all of you guys. But let's see what this fantasy is. We have career. So like some, there we go, career. Some of you guys feel trapped in a career. You know what I'm saying? Feel trapped in your career. You're not doing what it is that you really truly desire. And that could be something that makes you feel stuck and stagnant. That could be something that makes you want to break free. Okay? So some of you guys could be wanting a career change. Yeah, because it's too much. Lighten your load. Yeah. Because it's too much. Look at this big ass world on this person's back. <laughs> like the world on your shoulders, the world on your back. Somebody, some of you guys, this is your career, you know what I'm saying? Or this is a relationship, or this is like, this is like just life, <laughs> okay? To where you feel like it's just too much, it's too much on your shoulders to where you just need to be able to like release. You need to be able to like take a step back, okay? Fan you guys can fantasize, fantasize about changing your career. You guys can fantasize about just having those burdens off of your shoulders, and having the strength to get those burdens off of your shoulders okay and that's something that you're actually going to be able to do look we have here a confidence so i feel like this is a matter of you guys not feeling confident enough to you know quit your job or if this is about a job or you know quit a relationship if this is about a relationship but I, like i felt that energy of you guys wanting to break free of something and this th what you want to break free of is these burdens and I feel like you you're you want to manifest the strength and confidence to do so and you will you fantasize about having enough strength and confidence enough to take away all of the things that are no longer serving you and don't match your energy you fantasize about moving forward freely you know some of you guys could be in a work contract where you can't leave or like I said a relationship or having to deal with family members and stuff like that and you just like wish that you can manifest a change in your life and you will and we have 88 here so look up the angel number for 888 please when you get after this reading but um yeah like so this change that you guys want more confidence being able to lighten your load and maybe a change in career to, to where you can able be able to go after your passions you will be able to do so okay that's something you should know it's showing up in the cards so this fantasy you have if anything i said is something you do fantasize about it's definitely happening for you okay so let's see what else we have here the future the subconscious okay this is exact this is very great i'm glad that came out okay so with your future is being shaped by your subconscious energy this there's a lot of baggage okay there's a lot of baggage there's a lot of like dirt that needs to be cleaned out in regards to your subconscious i feel like over the years or a lot of in a lot of you know over the years in your life you may have definitely or even now you may have definitely dealt with people and their projections upon you or just terrible experiences that have just been weighing on you to where you just feel like you can't never be free but it's important for you to take the steps needed to clear that subconscious energy in order to shape a better future for yourself you are in control of your life you are the ruler of your life if you do not like the way it is going it is up to you to manifest because you do have a lot of magic you do have a lot of power that's what you don't understand this is different from both of the readings that I did tonight. You, option number three, have the power to make the changes needed already. You already have a lot of power. You already have a lot of strength. You have to have strength in order to carry this heavy burden, to carry these heavy burdens, to carry burdens for other people and to deal with all of the things that you've been dealing with. So you have the power to make the change for your life. 
I feel like you have to be willing to take the risk and you have to know that spirit, God, source, whatever you believe in, angel, spirit guides, they will have your back. Once you lighten your load, you have to make the choice to lighten your load. And if you feel like you can't do that right now, then work on that subconscious because that subconscious is creating your reality and, and it's creating your future. If you have those negative voices in your head that just don't serve you and just continue to drain you and bring you down, you have to muster up enough strength to clear that out and tell those energies and that those those thoughts in your head that no that's not what we're doing anymore okay so with that subconscious you can listen to um like i know there's minds in unison in unison on youtube that i listen to um where you can clear you can listen to like frequency music or whatever or um what's it called subliminal messages while you sleep to where you can clear out that sub subconscious ne and negativity and all of that look it up on youtube you can definitely do it listen to it while you're sleeping and that will definitely help reprogram your mind because that's what needs to happen here you need to reprogram your mind and once you do you'll have a better future things will change but let's go ahead and see when this is these changes are happening for you okay let's go ahead and dive in to when these changes um will happen to you yeah you have to remain positive for it to happen okay because <laughs> i feel like that's one of the issues you got to remain positive especially in regards to yourself and what you're capable of okay um but yeah when is this fantasy of yours coming true in the near future so yeah and i feel like this is like saying as well okay i'm just gonna elaborate a little bit because with the in the near future it's like you got the power little do you know reprogram reprogram your mind and watch how your life change watch how things start changing for you because once you start thinking a different way once you start believing a different way then your reality ends up changing differently into where you want it to what into what you want it to be okay so this thing that you've been fantasizing about having more power to let go of the things that no longer serve you to lighten your load to have more confidence or to change your career or just to have more freedom and to be able to express all of the fire and creativity within and just to have more strength you'll be able to have this in the near future remain positive clear out that subconscious and look forward to the future but always remain in the present moment okay so that's what i have for you option number three i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a big fat like comment and subscribe to join the sunstar family and then also hit that description box one more time and check out my instagram where i do more pick a cards there i appreciate you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video